Hello, awesome artists. Who doesn't love these fun, delicious conversation candy hearts that show up in our stores in February? But I think that our conversations might be a little bit different this year. Let's create these fun COVID conversation candy hearts using form and value. For our art project today, you're going to need two pieces of the white paper from the pack, a pencil, some scissors, and then something to color with. I'm gonna be using colored pencil, but I'm also going to be using some oil pastels. You can use whatever you have available. Start off by taking one of your papers and folding it in half hamburger. We're going to make a template for our hearts so that all our hearts can be the same size and same shape. So fold your paper in half and you're going to draw that heart along the folded edge. If you were to draw on the open edge, when you cut it out, you'd have two pieces not joined together. So make sure you're drawing your heart on the folded edge. A heart has a, it starts out as a diagonal rounded line and then a diagonal coming back to the folded edge. You wanna make your heart at least the size of your fist, if not a little bit larger. If you don't like your original shape, go back over and make it a little bit rounder. Once you are happy with your shape, go ahead and cut it out. Cut along the line you want to use. And if you cut off the line, that's fine. This is a template that's going to help us create consistent shapes along our page. All right, I've got my heart shape there. I can put this to the side. I can always use this for something else later. Grab your other piece of paper and place your heart on the page and look and see if you have enough room to put at least two hearts. Now, if you just wanna do one heart in the center, that's fine, that's up to you. You are the one who's going to be creating this composition. So you do what works best for you. If you feel like your heart is too big and you don't have enough room for another heart and you wanna make multiple ones, you can always cut your heart down. So now let's see. Yeah, I can put at least two hearts in here and that's what my goal is today. So by making it smaller, I can see that I can have room for at least two hearts. And that's what I want. I want at least two hearts on mine. Remember yours is up to you and where you place them is going to be up to you. Go ahead, once you've decided, put your heart down and start lightly tracing around the heart. So now we have flat heart shapes on our paper where we want our hearts. But the focus here is to make them more three dimensional. You can see this candy heart is not flat. It has some edges that give it form. So we're going to create the illusion of form by adding some lines to our shapes. Start by finding the very top of the rounded edge of the heart. Just make a small line there, finding the top. On one side, you're going to take that line, starting right at the top of the heart, you're going to come up, out away from the heart, and then you're going to follow that line there, make a copycat line. It wouldn't exactly be parallel because it's not straight exactly, but it's a copycat line. All right. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but this time you're gonna come around and you're gonna keep going, copying that line until you get towards the bottom there. Watch how I do this. Start at that top, come out. And I may have put this heart a little too close there. 
I can always move this heart over. So I'm gonna come around. And I want it to be the same width as this one here. So let's check the width. And then just, once you've got that same width, make a copycat line. So I'm following that line. And then this, the tip of the heart, this is gonna go back in space at the same width and then connect. There we go. Now, these hearts are a little bit more rounded, so I'm gonna make mine sharp, but if you make yours rounded, you can do that. If it's more formed that way, that's fine. All right, now, because I overlapped, I'm actually going to move this heart over. Now you're gonna do that, give that form to all of your hearts. So let's do this one because it's pretty easy here. Go to the top, the rounded edge, come over, make a coffee cat line, and stop. Same thing with this edge, come around. This one will be easy because it's just going to go off the page. Now that we've created a more three-dimensional effect on our candy hearts, the next thing we're going to do to make them look even more realistic is to add color. So candy hearts are usually these beautiful pastel colors and a pastel color is created by adding white to a color. You would have red and you would add white and you would get this pink. Yellow is just, this pastel yellow is yellow plus white. So we don't have any pastel colors on us, but we do have the ability to create value. So to create value, you're going to do this with pressure on your crayon or colored pencil, whatever you're using. So if I have my green, to create a value, to create a good gradient that's dark to light, I'm going to use pressure. So to make dark, I'm going to press hard and then loosen up on my pressure to create a medium and then very, very light. So I'm combining the white of the paper with the color of the crayon. All right, so you're going to be coloring your hearts using that value. We're gonna start with a very flat surface that's all the same color. When you look at this heart, the top, the front of the heart is all the same color. The shadow effect is coming in on those edges. So we're gonna add more pressure when we color our edges. So if I start with this heart here, I am going to, oops, there's something under my desk use a consistent pressure on my heart when I color the front. Now when I go to my edges, I'm going to add more pressure to create a darker value. Now you can see my heart has a much more three-dimensional shape by adding more value to the edges. Now I'm going to take my white oil pastel, make sure it's clean, it's a little dirty on that side there. If it is dirty, you can just um, get another piece of paper and then draw by coloring and getting that, those smudges on. Don't do it on your artwork, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna take my white oil pastel and I'm going to use it to kind of blend in that crayon. And it's going to give kind of a highlight in the middle. It's also going to make it a little bit more smooth. I'm 
and you can do this to the center, to the heart as well. So I'm actually gonna use mine on the side and kind of go in circles to give it a more smooth texture. It's going to blend that crayon together. I really like how I've got that highlight there in the center. All right. I'm gonna keep going with the rest of my hearts. Once you've gone through and colored all of your Conversation Candy Hearts and given them some nice value along the edges of the three-dimensional shape, you need to think about your background. Now, we're not gonna leave our paper blank. We wanna do something in the background, but we wanna make sure we do something that doesn't take away from the hearts. We wanna make sure they are given the emphasis because this is the focal point. So I think I'm gonna use watercolor. You can use whatever you want, but I wanna give a slightly different texture than my candy hearts have. So I'm gonna do that by using a different material or different medium than I've been using for my candy hearts. You can create your background however you want to. Now it's time to go ahead and add the words on our candy hearts. The words are always printed in red, so you're going to need a red colored pencil or a red crayon for this if you have one. And remember, our conversations are going to be a little bit different this year. Uh, I love the hug me one, but we can't really hug each other this year. so. We're going to have some fun with some COVID conversations on our hearts. So think of some fun and positive words that have come to the forefront over the past year and put those right on the center of your hearts. Now you may want to get a ruler for this to keep your words straight. So this heart is kind of at an angle here. I wanna turn it to where it's kind of facing upright to me and find where the middle is. Now, if you have two words, you're gonna put the first one up a little bit higher and the second one a little bit lower. Also notice that we're going to use all caps for these. So have some fun and do your best to center them in the middle. I decided to go ahead and leave the bottom and top part without any words to really give focus on these two right here. And you know, it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to add half words there, or um, maybe all of your hearts fit on the page, that's really just up to you because you are the artist. I cannot wait to see your COVID conversation, Candy Hearts.